Hi everyone, welcome to What's Developer. In this uh, video, we're gonna learn how you can link your CSS file to your HTML file. All right. So this will be a series of CSS tutorials for beginners. So you'll find the playlist in the description below if you want to see more of these tutorials. All right. So let's go and link your CSS file to your HTML file. Okay everyone, so in this video we're going to learn how we can link our CSS file to our HTML file, alright? So we can start to do some uh, customization to our project. Alright, so I'm using Visual Studio Code, but you can use any other code editor of your choice. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is just open up my HTML file in the browser. I'm going to right click right here. Go down to this one, open in default browser, or you can choose another browser. I'm just going to click on this one, default browser. So in this tutorial, I'm using Chrome. All right, so we can see that we have our h1 tag right here, link CSS file to HTML. All right, and we can see it right here in the body, the h1 tag. All right, so we want to change the color of this one to uh, blue. So to do this, we need to connect a CSS file to my HTML file. So first we're just going to go and right click, click on new file, and you can name this to whatever you like. So usually I'm going to name this to style, and this is important. You need to have an ending at dot CSS, otherwise this will not be a CSS file. And we can see that we got CSS uh, logo right here. Just hit enter, like so. Okay, so now we're gonna go to HTML file and we're gonna go in the head tag. So just uh, make space right here where we're gonna add the link to our CSS file. So first you're gonna type in less than link space R E L equals and two double quotes. All right. Right here we're gonna add style sheet like so. And after the double quote we're gonna add another space. And here we're gonna add href equal signs and two double quotes. All right. We're gonna end this with a greater than sign. So in href, between the double quotes, we're going to add the link to our style.css file. So in Visual Studio Code, we can just add forward slash, and you will get this drop-down menu. So we're going to choose our CSS file, like so. Otherwise, you can just type your uh, file name. And I'm going to remove this forward slash, like so. Otherwise, it may not work. And if you now go and hover over the link, you see this uh, text follow link, command plus click on Mac. On uh, Windows, you will have another um, button to click and then mouse click, all right? So if I click on command on my Mac and click on the mouse on this link, this should take you to your uh, style.css file if everything is linked correctly. All right, so I'm just gonna go back to HTML file. So we're gonna save this one. We're gonna go to style.css. And here we're gonna add, we're just gonna make a test. We're gonna target the h1 tag right here, all right? So we're gonna go to style.css. We're gonna add h1, open and close curly brackets, like so, hit enter. And here we're gonna add just color, and we're gonna add a colon. And now we can choose a color, so I'm just gonna choose blue, and add a semicolon. Save this one, and now we're gonna go back to the browser, and just update. And now we can see that we have a blue color of this uh, h1 tag. That means everything is linked, all right? If you have some problem with the linking, you can just add a dot forward slash so if i save this one and go back and update it also works so also test that if uh, this doesn't work for you okay everyone so this is uh, 
the first video in this uh, CSS tutorial for beginners. So this is step one, you need to link your CSS file. And after that, we will go into other things you can do with CSS. These are basic things. So we're gonna start really basic in this uh, playlist. So you'll find the playlist in the description below. And also make sure to subscribe. Have an awesome day, take care and bye.